Hey guys, Troy from Gold Coast Prints here. Today we're going to be removing dust spots and mist spots that have come up from our lens being dirty and filthy on our images. Don't want these coming up on print because it's going to be an expensive lesson. Hey guys, so we've opened up our image in Photoshop and we're going to remove these dust spots. You can see some there, there and down here. To make it a little bit more obvious, we're going to come down to the layers. Select the background layer to make a duplicate layer. We're going to come up to the blending mode and go from normal down to exclusion. And this makes it a little bit easier for us to see the dust spots. So now we're going to use the zoom tool over on the left hand side, zoom tool or Z on the keyboard for the shortcut so that we can zoom in. So this dust spot here, we're going to remove this by using the spot removal tool or J for the shortcut on the keyboard. So we'll press J. And to make this smaller or larger, we can also use the open or close brackets on the keyboard. So we're just going to make it a little bit bigger. Left click to remove it. Don't worry that that's still showing there. That's just the original background layer coming through because of the blending method that we're using to identify these spots at the moment. So don't worry about that as long as we're removing it on this surface layer. We won't see it later when we flatten this image, which we'll go through in a second. Just using the hand tool, so you just press H on the keyboard for that one, or click on this little hand over here. And we can just leave it zoomed in and grab and move the image to find these other spots. So there's a few more here, so we're going to press J again. Click on each of these. One there. And one more here. So that's all of the spots. I'm going to go control zero, which is going to resize the image to as large as it can be viewed on my screen. That's just a little shortcut uh, or command zero on Mac. Um, and then we're going to go back to our blending method change it back to normal and then you can see when you zoom in over those areas that those dust spots are no longer there. You also want to go back over the areas and just double check that all your gradients are nice in the sky and everything's smooth and, uh, and it looks good otherwise you might need to redo it. But this looks good, it's come up, come up nicely so I'm happy with that. Control zero. Now we're going to come back over here right click on the top layer and go flatten image and that's it this is now ready to be exported which you can see in one of our other videos how to resize to the size that you're wanting to print and export and thanks for tuning into this tutorial and don't forget to hit subscribe and like and we look forward to seeing you soon see you guys